Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my January favorites. This will be a long one so grab yourself something to drink, something to eat, fold your clothes and let's talk about makeup. Now in January I have tried so many new makeup it is it, it is concerning. However I really tried to reduce to a couple in each category that way I won't overwhelm you. Uh, I have a little bit of skincare and a ton of makeup so let's get started. By the way I will have timestamps on categories if you just want to skip ahead. And like always I'll do inserts with some of the products that I put on my face to just demonstrate how they work. So let's start actually with skincare, why not? Um, do I have, oh, a couple of skincare products actually. I'll do my best to be quick. So I've been using this Versed Weekend Glow Daily Brightening Solution and I'm down to here. I don't like recommending skincare a lot because everybody's so different and I need to use them for months before I kind of get an idea if I like them or not. But this one, I really like. It really brightens up my skin. I use it in the morning um, with a cotton pad. It says here it's a brightening toner, it evens out the spots, dark spots or acne. And I really have seen a difference when I use this and when I don't. And so I've been using it pretty much every day for a couple of months now and I love it. I also like that it has like a pump so you can just put your cotton cotton ball or cotton pad there and you don't make a mess. So this is a great one. My favorite moisturizer has been this one. This is from Skin Fix Barrier uh, Triple Lipid Peptide Cream. I feel like I butchered that name, but this has a pump like this. So you squeeze it. I don't want to squeeze it because I don't want to waste the product. It's all white, so you can't see it. Um, and then the product comes at the top. I am curious how much I have left because... I've been using it for a long time. Um, this is a very rich, very moisturizing. It's been doing so well. I've been, like I mentioned in another video, doing more retinol lately. And I, I use the Polish Choice retinol, if you wanna know. I had some questions about that. But I wonder if this is refillable because you can have the product here. See, I just discovered this. I Like I knew this came out, I just didn't know this Ooh, now you, you, oh no, I'm gone. This is last bit. Ah, I need to repurchase it. Um, anyway, it's wonderful and I'm gonna look for a refill. It has to, it has to be able to be refilled, right? If it comes out. Anyway, very moisturizing, absolutely gorgeous. And then I've gotten back on my eye cream. This is the Algenist Complete Eye Renewal Balm. When I tell you this is the best under eye cream for daytime you've ever had. I'm telling you it is. Um, this is very expensive. However, it is so brightening. I mean, you see the difference instantly. The, when I put it on this eye, like in the morning, I'm like, wow, this cream really is an instant brightening, almost helps with the dark circles, and it really is good with wrinkles over time. I feel like it smooths that whole area out. It's not an extremely thick cream, but it's perfect. That's why I wear it in the morning. It's perfect for daytime because it won't um, mess with your makeup or anything like that. It soaks in really nice. It doesn't stay sticky and I see a huge difference with this eye cream. All right, moving on. Actually, I have two perfumes here that I want to mention um, because I'm really passionate about perfumes. I know they are kind of like not everybody's passion, but I'm going to mention a couple here and there because it seems like a lot of you like it. So I have two perfumes right here that I've been slightly obsessed with. Now, this one right here is the BDK Gris Charnel. It is so gorgeous. It, this is kind of like a sandalwood black tea. Um, it has a little bit of fig in there. It's not overpowering, but I've been using this so much. Every time I wear it, I get some sort of compliment from either somebody in the house or a stranger. I love it. It's kind of an everyday scent. To me, it reminds me a little bit more of the colder weather. Uh, I've heard people describe this as a like chai latte and cozy. Yeah, I think so, but to me, it's just even more unique and more special, and it's it's just a very unique scent that I don't have in my collection. I have a lot of sandalwood and musk and all those, but this, to me, is 
very unique and I've been loving it. I use this kind of every single day. And then another one that I've had in my collection for at least a year, if not longer, this is a Tom Ford Santal blush. And this one is the one that I didn't love in the beginning. I thought it was fine. But lately, I've been overspraying it. <laughs> I overspray everything. Um, and the dry down on this, it is so beautiful. I don't know why suddenly now I fell in love with it. And even my husband compliments me when I wear this one. And he he can't smell very good. But um, this is, is absolutely gorgeous. There's something in the dry down that I love so, so much. I know it's very popular, so I'm going to stop there. But... Yeah, I've been wearing that a lot. Okay, let's move on to makeup. Now this actually is a hybrid between skincare and makeup, but this is the Merit Oil, and guys, I've been using this so much lately, and I feel like I have so much left. Even though I've been using this pretty much every day, I actually put it in my bathroom, that way I'll remember to use it. And I use this after my SPF. I get a lot of questions of how to use it. Usually I use it after my SPF, SPF because I use this mainly as a kind of primer for my foundation and many times I'll wait like 20-30 minutes to put this on or I'll put it right before I do my makeup. So that's kind of how I've been wearing it and I love it. This is a beautiful oil, very moisturizing. It has a glow to it but it's not oily, it's not sticky and I love this product i will absolutely repurchase it once i run out of it but this will last you a long time because i truly have been using it almost every single day in the past month and i still have so much left another primer that i really like is this glowish this is the blur gem absolutely love it it's kind of refreshing it's a very uh blurring and it makes my foundation last so so long you know i think this will last again such a long time because you just need like a pea size of this i put it all over the front like the t-zone and it helps with the oils it helps with smoothness and when i don't wear it i crave i crave it i want to wear it all right foundations now i have two that i've been wearing constantly first one is this makeup by mario and this has you know a lot of positive and negative reviews from me you guys know i absolutely love this this is one foundation that lasts on me and it looks better throughout the day the more i wear it the better it looks um, it is so blurring it has a beautiful finish luminous but I think the longevity of this product is what makes me reach for it over and over again. Um, like I mentioned, I've had kind of, I wouldn't say terrible skin, but I've had a lot of texture lately. That's what made me start being consistent with my retinol. And I just, I don't know, maybe I'm getting older. I love this for those days. I think it goes on texture so nicely. It's not drying to me and it's winter time and I'm usually normal to dry. Um, but I also prep my skin really well. So maybe that helps. I almost always use the oil before this one. I wear this more as a medium foundation. Um, it has some glow to it, but it's not overpowering. I love it. It is in 8N and this color matches me pretty good right now, but it won't in the summertime. Now in December, January, I have tried Shantikai and I'm working on a video but I really wanted to take my time to really test out all the products because they're so expensive and I wanted to have a really good understanding of the brand and I've decided to not include Shantikai products except the one that I'm about to talk about because I'm going to do a dedicated video on that and there's just so much product that I love from them. But this one, this is the Shantikai Future Skin Oil-Free Gel Foundation. I've been using it the most out of all of the Shantikai products and I feel very confident recommending this and just my passion for this foundation is through the roof. I love this foundation. The color I have right now is vanilla and I think this works good for me. The shade range for Shantikai is obscure to me. There's a lot of peachiness and a lot of orange tones in their foundation. I haven't found a good neutral undertone yet, 
but you guys let me know. However, this foundation is more of a light coverage. You can build it up, like you can build it up on the cheekbones or wherever you need a little bit more coverage. It's buildable, but you're never gonna get a full coverage of this foundation. However, the way this looks on the skin is flawless. It's it's like your skin. Nobody will know that you're wearing foundation. I wear this daily. This has been my go-to foundation. The makeup by Mario is more of a, like, I want to look glam, but this one is a daily foundation that even if I don't wear anything and I just want to even out my skin a little bit, I can put on my cheeks and blend it out. It is absolutely gorgeous. It lasts so well. It's it's undetectable on the skin. And I know a lot of you guys got it in the sale at, what sale? There was a 25% sale and this was there. I linked it. And so many of you reached out and said, wow, this is my go-to foundation. It is absolutely gorgeous. And you know, I thought the packaging would make me not want to reach for it, but I've actually reached for it all the time. I just take a little bit off the cap and that's all I use because you don't need a lot. Moving on, concealers. I have used these three concealers right here. I mean, there's four here, but there's two shades. Um, The one, the Colfi that I use all the time, I'm not gonna talk about it more because you guys know how much I love it. Uh, The new Dior Forever. This is their new reformulated uh, skin corrector concealer i loved the old version i love the new one the color i have is wp 2wp and i think it works really well for me i used to wear 2n um i do see myself maybe reaching for a deeper shade in the summertime but for now it's beautiful it gives you good coverage it has a luminosity to it and I, you could use this all over the skin because it's that beautiful and skin-like. And then the other one that I've discovered is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. Guys, this is so good. It is a serum, so a little goes a long way. So you put a dot and it like spreads out a lot. So don't overuse it or use it in small layers. I have here two colors. I have vanilla and beige. Vanilla, it's a little light, but it worked, but beige is better. I like the color beige a little bit more. It's more neutral, more my, my skin tone. And, you know, I've been combining them as well. Absolutely gorgeous. Coverage, good coverage, good finish, slight luminosity. It's such an amazing concealer from the drugstore. It's definitely gonna be my go-to. Now, I have tested the Tom Ford concealer and I'm not gonna put it here, my favorites, but just know it is, it's absolutely gorgeous. I have also been reaching for the Charlotte Tilbury corrector. My packaging is absolutely destroyed. Um, this is in the color medium, but I use it quite often because I've been having really dark under eyes lately. I can't sleep well. I feel like I have a slight insomnia, not terribly, but it takes me a while to fall asleep. And this helps in the mornings. I do wanna talk about two powders. This is the Givenchy. This is the Prisma Libre in the limited edition, number 12. Um, I've been using this under my eyes every single day. Every time I do my makeup, I use this one. I really like it. It's a very brightening, beautiful. I sometimes use a brush. I sometimes use a little puff um, and it works really good both ways. It's a very blurring, very perfecting. I take a little bit off on my hand and then apply it because I don't want to over apply. It can be quite brightening, at least this color. I will probably end up picking the shade three in a future sale because I think that would be an even better color for me, but I do love this one. Honestly, I probably will try to finish this and then pick up the number three, but if you're kind of my skin tone, that would be the shade I would pick up. And then a surprising uh, product that I actually reached for in January quite a bit is the new NARS a powder. This is in the shade Creek. It's a soft matte powder. I like the packaging. It's very sleek. I've done a full review on it. And I think that is a huge reason why I reach for it a lot because it fits in my tiny makeup bag so well. I use my Lisa Eldridge makeup bags. That's all I carry with me. Whatever fits in there comes with me. Um, and so 
the way I've been using this powder is just to touch up. Like if I get quite oily or, you know, I'm out and about, maybe some mascara got under my eyes, I'll just take a little bit. I'll just show you real quick and kind of almost blur out my pores or a touch of the oil. I just find it very perfecting, maybe too perfecting and heavy for me, but the way I've been using it is perfect. If you have oily skin, I could see how this could be your best friend. Uh, it has a little bit of coverage to it, not too much. Now it tickles me, um, but I, I have been using this. Okay, and moving on to bronzing, contouring, the new Tarte Sculpt Tape. I've been reaching for this almost every day since I've reviewed it or since I bought it. Um, I ran out of my Charlotte Tilbury. It's in my empties for next year. Um, so I've been reaching for this one. I do like it. Um, I will say I like the Charlotte Tilbury color a little bit better, like the contour color, but this you can use as your actual bronzer, not just contour. So it's very versatile and I really like it. Blends in super easy. You can build up the pigment and I really like it. Of course, my makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer. I think this is the one I've used the most and obviously I've hit pan. I have talked about this way too much. And then another makeup by Mario product is their Sculpt Powder, right? Soft Sculpt Bronzer. This is in light medium and it has become my easy go-to bronzer, powder bronzer, because the color's really beautiful. It's not too warm, it's not too cool on my skin tone at least. Um, it has a beautiful finish. It's not too pigmented where you have to be super careful. And it's just such a good bronzer. So if you're in need of a good powder bronzer that isn't expensive like Gucci, but it's, you know, it's high end. Uh, this is a beautiful one and I think it has a really good shade ranges that you can, you know, go swatch at Sephora. Hopefully they're back in stock if they've been sold out for a long time, but I really like this one. Blushes. I have discovered so many good blushes this month, but I've decided to talk about one that um, should be available soon. This is the Danessa Myricks uh, what are these called? It's a weird long name. Yummy Skin, Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. I don't know. I don't know because I, I don't have my phone right now. Um, but these are the two colors, Jubilee and Rosé and Brunch. Today I am wearing Jubilee. It's super beautiful. It has more of a almost orangey tint to it. It's brighter than you think on in the pan it looks deeper and a little bit more muted the color but on the cheeks it looks quite bright and intense what i do i take a little bit on my hand uh, from the brush and then go on my cheeks but that way i can get kind of just a wash of color um, but you can really go ham and like have a super bright cheek i actually want to add a little bit more where's my brush i'm going to take just a little bit more take it off my hand and just add a pop right there. Ugh. These are um, cream, but they dry down almost powdery and they're so blurring and flattering. Like the blurring uh, name to it is very accurate because it is extremely blurring and soft. I have done a full review on them, but um, absolutely gorgeous product well worth the money. I think they're $25, which is, you know, high end, but it's not breaking your bank. And you get, I feel like a lot of product and they're so pigmented that you don't, you, I don't see you going through this anytime soon. So I like the finish. I like the unique texture and they are absolutely a favorite and they've been used. Another blush that is kind of a new discovery to me, but it's not new on the market, is the Armani Neo Nude Melting Color Balm. This is for like eyes and cheeks, probably lips too. And this is in the color 20. Now it looks scary, but it's not. It's such a gorgeous, beautiful color. It's, it's a more brownie cool tone right there. But when I put this on the cheeks, that mauviness almost comes through and it really is such a stunning blush. I 
love this color. It, lo it literally looks like a bronzer on my uh, hand, but on my cheeks, it's gorgeous. And the reason I like it so much, the texture is very unique. I really like this texture. It's kind of like a putty um, cream, but it's really hardly pressed and it kind of becomes powdery. The Danessa Myricks are much more creamy and thick. This is quite light and you don't feel it on your hands after you rub it in. Um, but I love this kind of color for an everyday. It almost meshes into your bronzer so well that it's it's just beautiful. It's, you have to try it. It looks scary, but it is actually very, very beautiful. And just the formula is a very unique, very flattering, and I really like it. Of course, I've tried the Charlotte Tilbury blushes. Now, I, I've had these for, what, a week at best? So I don't wanna say that they're absolutely favorite, but they, they really are that good. The color I've been surprised with is the Pink Pop. I love this color, and I feel like it looks really good and fresh on me. These are the matte beauty ones, if you don't know. Um, and the Pillow Talk. I like the peach one as well, but I haven't reached for it, but twice, like total, like the first time I tried it and the next time. But the other days I've been using Pillow Talk and Pink Pop and even combining them. So I, I wanted to give them a mention, but you know, it's only been a week or so. Now highlighters, we've had some really good highlighters. The one I'm wearing today, which I try to do a very soft highlighter, is the Charlotte Tilbury in Champagne Glow. Uh, this is the more intense one, but I really try to be careful of how much I put on. Um, I like this one, it's beautiful, it has quite a lot of radiance to it, but they're very smooth and creamy on the skin. But my favorite has to be Pillow Talk. To me, Pillow Talk is much more elegant, less bright, which is what I like. And it gives like a beautiful flush. I'm actually gonna try to put it on top of the glow, like the champagne glow that I already have on right there. But I'm gonna add a little bit of this one because I just love it so much. Look at that. Oh. It's the pink is not too pink or intense. And I just think it's a very very flattering and beautiful. Anyway, but yeah, I like the pillow talk the most, but I do get used out of the champagne glow as well. The rare beauty highlighters are also absolutely gorgeous very intense i've done a couple of reviews on these i've talked about them quite a bit but even in the pan you see how metallic and reflective they are that's how they look on your skin they are very blendable you could even use your finger to blend it in uh, i'm not going to put them on because i've done it in so many other videos but the two colors i have is exhilarate and mesmerize honestly i like them both i'm not sure if i prefer one color over the other mesmerize is more pink and then Exhilarate obviously is more golden, but the Exhilarate is so bright that, you know, you, you have to be in the mood for that. I swatched them right here. Excuse this swatch, the lip liner won't come off. So the pink one, the Mesmerize is here, Exhilarate up there. I, f I usually tend to reach for the ones that are not quite as intense. So anyway, they're both gorgeous. Remember they have very fine glitter. You can only see it in natural light or, you know, if you put the flash on your cheeks. Day to day, I don't think they're very noticeable, but, you know, it's good to mention. Another beautiful highlighter is this from Radian. They have one of my favorite blush formula and I've talked about them quite a bit. They're a small brand um, and their highlighter is incredible. Look at that. Uh, it has this kind of applicator, so you kind of have to shake it so the product goes down unless you keep it like pointing down. But this is kind of like a wet highlighter. It has a slight, slight rosy, peachy color. Can you see right there? This is my kind of highlighter. It's not sticky at all. It kind of dries down, but it still gives you a sheen and I love these kinds of highlighters. So if you're interested in something uh, like this, it kind of reminds me a little bit of, 
the finished look of either the Merit or the um, uh, Westman Atelier, but without the stickiness. These are not sticky. These dry down, you know, well. This is a great option. Also, you're supporting a small brand, so I will absolutely link that below. Now for eyeshadow, I've barely used eyeshadow in December, January. I've been kind of doing one one and done. A lot of the Shante Kai one and done ones because I've been testing them out, but the two palettes that I love and I've kind of used this month are these two. Um, the Makeup by Mario, I've talked about this quite a lot. The Eternal, is it Eternal? Ethereal, I was like, that doesn't sound right. Ethereal Eyes, is this discontinued already? Ooh, I hate talking about it. If it is, hopefully he'll bring it back because to me, this is the best palette. It really is one that I reach for over and over again. It has this beautiful toppers, more shimmery. This color is so beautiful. I've done a look on Instagram with it. Um, the mattes are really beautiful. They're a little powdery, but they're they're creamy. Very, very creamy. Oh, I think the mattes are better in this formula than his other ones. The other ones are a little chalkier. These are more creamy. I love this palette. It is it's just such good colors every day. I love the shimmers. They're quite almost toppery like. And yes, if you're looking for that really smooth shimmer, that th this is not for you. These are like toppers that have glitters on them. And then the new one is this Pat McGrath. This is the all matte one. I don't know the name of it. I really like this. I mentioned in my video, in my review, that the packaging is just not my style. It's not me. But I really like the mattes in here. I knew that I would reach for this because the formula is so good, so blendable, um, and the colors are beautiful. They're not too orangey, they're not too warm. There's some neutral, some coolness, a little bit of warmth. Even though you have these pinks on the eyes, they don't look quite as pink as other Pat McGrath ones. Uh, but I tend to keep to these four right here. Those are the ones that I've been reaching for a lot. The formula is beautiful, very pigmented, creamy, a little bit powdery, but um, this is the velvet, right? The velvet texture from her and it is so, so beautiful. I do have a full review of this uh, and my suggestion is wait, this will go on sale. They always do. The Bridgerton goes on sale. I've even heard people say that they found them at TJ Maxx, so I, I don't think you need to buy this, but if it goes on a pretty big sale because they're expensive, um, I do like this a lot. The mascaras are kind of always the same. However, I've repurchased my Tom Ford Badass Mascara, and this is, I, in my opinion, one of the most voluminous mascaras that I've ever tried. It's a very expensive, however, I've seen it on sale like 50% off, and I'm afraid they're discontinuing it. Um, this is so good, so intense. It gives me so much volume, so much, I wouldn't say length, just like my lashes look so full, but separated. I love this mascara. The only negative is I can't use it on my lower lashes. So what I have on right now is the Hourglass Unlocked Mascara because it's a tubing one um, and it's a pain to take off. It's almost like it sticks to your lashes and even with a balm, it's hard to come off. I have to go a couple times to take this mascara off. But if you use the waterproof oil um, makeup remover, that works much better. However, the effect and how well it stays on my lashes is absolutely worth it. On my brows, I've rediscovered my love for the Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel. This is so easy. I've been doing my makeup almost every day in January. I've actually kept a record because I have so much makeup to test out and I just, I've just i just been wanting to feel better. And so I've been using this almost daily. It has fibers in them and it is very easy to use. I usually use this on its own. I start at the tail of my brows and then bo you do both uh, brows and then the leftover do it in the front because the color I have is espresso so it's quite dark and if I go in the front it just adds too much product. Sometimes I'll uh, even take some of the product off but I'm waiting for this to dry out even more because I think I'm going to like it even more. However, it's really good 
I love it and it makes my brows stay in place all day long. And if I'm feeling very fancy, I will take the NYX uh, Brow Tint Pen. This is in Ash Brown. I love this color. I love this pen. Um, I have a lot of pens, mostly in my professional makeup kit, and I am going to purchase many colors of this one and put it there because I just love it even more than my super high-end ones. There's just something about the tip of the color that I like so much. Now, I've been having an obsession with lip products, guys. I'm actually gonna do a video of my favorite lip oils, lip balms, lip glosses. I just, I've been loving them so much, but I'll mention a couple that I've been either discovered this month or reaching for them a lot. Now, one lip liner that won't come off is this Refi in the color Rosewood. I've been using the taupe um, for a very long time. I'm surprised I haven't gone through it, but the Rosewood color, I think it's even more flattering. It's a bit more pinky and more everyday. The taupe is very 90s on me, which is why I loved it so much. Um, but this one, I think it's more kind of everyday friendly and I love the formula. These lip liners will stay all day long, all day long. I love the way you can shape your lips with this. They're dry enough where the product won't move but creamy enough that it won't break or um, be hard to apply. To me, this is probably my favorite lip liner and it does not bleed whatsoever. On top of the lip liner, I have today the color uh, Shore from Hourglass Unlocked Lipsticks. This is the new release this month and honestly, I really like this color Shore. It is a nice brownie color. I tapped it a little bit and on top of it, I actually took Alpine and added a little bit of brightness in the center. But I love this release. I love the colors that I picked. The one I didn't like, which honestly I did return because it was, on camera it probably looked better, but in person it looked a very bright, like a bright rosy color. And I did not see myself wearing that at all. But the rest I absolutely love. Oasis Large uh, Shore in Alpine. Large is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I love this color. It's such a unique, beautiful, beautiful color. Look at that. Oh, it is gorgeous. Um, so I think these were a good release. The packaging I like, but it's like if you don't get it perfectly, it won't go in. So that's actually quite annoying. A discovery from the drugstore is this L'Oreal um, Color Riche Intense. This is the color 133 and this is my favorite color. It's the one I've been wearing the most. That is it right there, but I also wear it a little bit more blurred, kind of like that. I love this product so much. It stays on all day long, all day long. It is so beautiful, um, more affordable. For drugstore, it's quite expensive, but go to Target and you'll find it for $9.99. I bet you can find some coupons. But this is a new discovery and it's gorgeous. My go-to lip balm is the Cletopole Lip Balm in the color pink. I, I get I got so many questions about this and I wanted to mention because it is a favorite I've been using it every single day but it's just so expensive um, I hesitate recommending it but I know you guys are wise enough to not purchase a $40 lip balm if you can't afford it or if you just don't want to but I will share what has been my favorite also the summer Friday what are these called lip butter balm I love these, I love them. I've been wearing them all month long. They're in my bag, I never mentioned it on camera because they're just always in my bag. What I do is with a lip liner like the Refi, I'll pretty much do my whole lip with the lip liner and put this in the center and this has a slight glowiness to it and obviously it's more of that coral color. And that is it right there. These are extremely glossy. I'm actually going to add just a little bit here. As if I don't have so many on my list. Oh, they smell so good too. I like how it makes the center of my lips look. Uh, and this is just their basic uh, vanilla color. I know these have been popular for a while. Um, 
and I really like them. Honestly, I have so many lip products here, but I'm gonna mention one more because I had quite a lot of questions about what I was wearing in my videos. Um, and this is the Dior Transfer Proof Rouge Dior. This is kind of like their liquid lipstick take. And this color is in the color 100. And it's a little bit more pinky, but nude enough for me. That is it right there. But it, it just looks very beautiful, everyday, good color. The formula is so good. It's so good. There's a color, I think it's the color 300 that on a future sale I will pick up because it's so, it's a little deeper. But I wear this faded out a little bit and this lasts so well. It is a liquid lipstick, but they don't dry, it's not drying at all, at all. So this has been what I've been wearing, I would say in like three videos. And I had a lot of questions about that. I'm gonna stop here. Wow, I've talked so much. Hopefully I can edit this down to under 30 minutes. Have I done that, Tanya? And that is everything for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you are subscribed. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.